previously on Midnight Poppyland. Oh man, how is Poppy gonna tell her now? We're about to find out. Hey bro, whisper, whisper, whisper. What do you think those two are talking about? That chick thinks I'm a douchebag and she's warning Shorty to stay away. But Shorty doesn't want to hurt her friend's feelings by telling her she's wrong about me. Though technically she isn't. Whoa, you're good at this. So what's the winning number for next week's lottery? That's easy, 1-800, go bleep yourself up. Sorry, just discussing some office regulations. Pops, it's your turn for introduction. Haha, <laughs> I am Poppy, Quincy's new editor. Wave. Are you kidding me? Secret office truth. Oh my goodness, is he getting ideas? Oh Jesus. With hunky, but grumpy, douchebag bodyguard. Just play along. See so you in, you return my greeting. Office supply. Oh my god, close. I don't think he's that bad after all. Okay, I might have been too quick to judge. <laughs> but didn't you feel that scary dark aura you gave off? He scares me. I'm never really scared of anyone. And whose side are you on anyway? You don't even know that guy. It's really not what you think, Ardeen. Yeah, yeah, of course she doesn't know him. I'll always be on your side. Boys come and go, but a sister is for life. But he's really not like that. He's rough around the edges, but he's a good guy. And you have to trust me on this. You've already met before, haven't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a long story and I wasn't ready to tell you about it. You've got a lot of explaining to do, little minx. You guys- <gasps> God, no. That's why I can't tell you anything. Stop being so lewd. Anyway, Tora, I hope you have to, some time to spare later. Let's go shopping for your party clothes for the birthday party. Uh, birthday party? An introvert's greatest nightmare. <laughs> what birthday party? <laughs> your joint birthday party. My birthday party? F no. With my dear editor, Miss Poppylan. I think she should have a smashing one given it was her 21st birthday. And she's really excited with the idea, but she's too shy to do it alone. So I suggested holding and joint one with you instead. What? Mine and hers? That's right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Come on, I really say no to that face. I got party clothes. How about no? <laughs> Let me guess, it's just like all black. I don't care how good you think you look in it. You are not going to the party in your clan uniform. Oh my goodness! Hey guys, can I join in? Um, if Tor doesn't mind. Yeah, he needs it more than me. Hey, no clothes shaming, what the f? So he's the birthday boy. You okay with that, Pops? Huh, looks like Jacob finally found his tribe. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Don't you worry, Jacob, got you. Fine, maybe I'll grab some new kicks. Get you, bro. I got coupons. Better him than a total stranger, like I thought it would be. Anyway, I hope you're excited about the party. Ring, ring, click. Ronzo, I'm picking you up at 7. Nothing much, just, getting, just get yourself ready. And bring your damn wallet along, for f's sake. That's one item you can check off from your bucket list now. Remember, you told us when Maribel and Dana come over to visit. Well, you were in a drunken stupor, but still. Oh yeah, I got so drunk that night. But that's for real a secret wish of mine. Hey guys, if I ever break up successfully with jewelry one day, I want to be party princess in Naren City. And I want to have a party thrown in my honor before I kick the bucket, okay? Sorry, Pop, that's, that's a no-go until you learn to apply mascara properly. Am I right, Belle? Oh, go stuff your mouth with eggplant. <laughs> what are these comments? Um, leap, I'm Danny. Bell's on your left foot. <laughs> Whatever, same difference. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. Eh? Hey, Odin, I'm gonna head to the meeting room for a bit. It's Mr. Lamb. What does he want? Damn it, should I tell them? I don't know what to do with this girl. This right here, Coochie's gonna get- Oh my goodness. What? Oh... Oh, okay. Of all places to be stuck between, it had to be a rock and a hard place. F it, I can't do this. Even if they're the only family she's left with. I'm just climbing around. It's 2 a.m. here and I can't get any sleep. Much as we love to see Project PPC complete, we'll talk to Granny until letting her move into the city and that old crone's gonna have our head if Poppy gets her heart broken again, for real. Don't worry though, I'll do my best to take care of her, especially since she has had a chance to socialize and it's just her and us right now. But yeah, you have my word. Count on you, sis. We're out of the country. Way too much to be of any use, so take care of our baby girl for us. Sorry, ladies. Can't be a snitch. But I promise I'll do my best to keep an eye out for your baby girl. This is strange. Why is Mr. Lamb trying to get in touch with Quincy? Hi, Mr. Lamb. Project is underway. 
Thank you for the update, Miss Poppy. All that trouble I went to get in touch with Mr. Naoko via those two con artists when I could have turned to you instead. I'm sorry, but what do you mean? Why would Mr. Naoko have affiliation with those two? Through those two? I never told you before? They claim to be the close associates with Mr. Naoko. They gave me information about Mr. Naoko that I verified to be authentic. They even had a video call with him, but he hung up before I had a chance to speak. But each time we arranged to meet, Mr. Naoko never showed up. I haven't thought about this incident in a long while. Oh yeah, I remember those mob guys. Sadly, I, I don't want to risk pursuing the matter, given their ties with the Bathmung Org. I'm sorry to hear about that, Mr. Lamb, but you're safe now and that's all that matters. You're absolutely right, Miss Poppy. It still makes me angry thinking about how they were going to harm an innocent old man. I thought those men were master manipulators or skilled con men, but it also makes sense that they might have come across Mr. Lamb's interview about Mr. Lamb's final wish and used it to segue to gain his trust and attention. Ah, but that doesn't explain how they fabricated a connection with QB Noyoko. Couldn't have been through Tora, could it? QB Noyoko. That's the name registered on Quincy's identification documents. Why would Tora get it? get Quincy involved with dangerous people like them. QB. Unless. Wait, so Quincy is your boss's son? Which boss is that? Sorry, sweetheart, that question's off limits. Why is this blur? What is this? Want me to finish the story or not? Unless Quincy knows them too? Please, please, please. Please, I'm gonna be wrong about this. Quincy? Can I have a word with the both of you? Sure, what's up, Miss Editor? A word outside? Mm, oh, she's serious. But of course. Oh, he recognizes that face. Why didn't anyone tell me? Tried to tell you that day at Good Runs. But did you listen? Nope. Just went on and on about your stupid presentation. I appreciate that, and I would have if you hadn't started yelling at me. And it wasn't just a stupid presentation. It was my career, my livelihood, and many hours of hard work and sleepless nights. And you don't have to look me in the eye, but could you at least sit facing me because I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you guys. Uh oh. Looks like she's mad at us for real. Shut up and answer your question. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> oh, um, me? Please, Mr. Bathman. Unless this is top secret information that would get me or the people around me into serious trouble if we knew. Ahaha. <laughs> Just Quincy will do, honestly. <laughs> well, I was going to tell you eventually. I'm discreet about it, but it isn't a complete hush hush either. And you won't get into trouble, nor anyone around you. Being born into two powerful mafia clans has its perks. Oh, it's two? I thought it was just one. Wait, so the mom? Is the mom in the mafia? Two mafia clans? Not one, but two? Paternal and maternal. I'm not a fan, but there is pretty much no escaping who I am. And this. Holy shiitake mushrooms was how I lured two wolves into a lair full of sheep. I don't know why I thought that she she already had like a clue that he was part of the mafia. I mean, all the clues were kind of there, you know? So if she, if she didn't catch on, shame on her. I mean, we caught on, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, if you guys like this episode, just go ahead and give it a like. Comment down below. And let me know what you think. And if you want to follow me on these accounts, go ahead. Okay, bye!